When I was writing it, I went into sort of like a memory tunnel. I wanted it to be very authentic and true. And when I had finished writing the script, I'd seen it so clearly that I realized that I, it would be very painful to not d direct it. This was the one that I, I couldn't give up. I'm Maya Forbes. I'm the director of Infinitely Polar Bear, which is premiering in the U.S. Dramatic Competition at Sundance Film Festival 2014. Infinitely Polar Bear is a movie about a family. It's based on my childhood. My father po was manic depressive, and after a breakdown, our family went through some difficult times, which resulted in my mother going away to get a, her MBA uh, at Columbia, leaving my sister and me in the care of my father who was a great dad in many ways, but he was a very troubled person, too. It was very unconventional, the way we were living. It, it was a lot of sad subject matter, but I have a very positive feeling about it now, and so I wanted to bring that to it, sort of a celebration of family struggling. <laughs> when I met with Mark Ruffalo, he seemed to have such an understanding of the pain of the character from a very real place and he also is very funny. He could bring the to totality of the character to life. Zoe Saldana had this great vitality and life to her and optimism and, and what the mother is going through in the movie is very sad but, but it was important. My mother was always a very upbeat and optimistic person. The fact that Zoe had that quality I felt would temper the sadness of it because he's always Fighting for fighting to move forward and do the best thing for her family, and then I cast my daughter as me. It was all very much a family experience. In thinking about what the movie was going to look like, I really wanted it to feel like a memory. One thing that is ha that people who've seen it have said is that even though it's not their memories, they respond to it. They connect their own. It connects them to their own memories of growing up. So I would hope that people feel connected to their own past and their families. I guess I always think of it as, a, as I said before, a celebration of family. I would hope that people feel like it's a celebration of what it is to be in a family.